Introducing the Optum Series Elements, a series of spiral-wound membranes for use in the processing of whey proteins, sugars, and lactose. The series features both Optum Reverse Osmosis and Optum Nanofiltration Elements. This new energy-efficient design reduces costs and delivers against multiple environmental health and safety initiatives. There are five primary components that make up the construction of an Optum element. The first component, and the primary innovation of the Optum element, is the use of two engineered sleeves that create shelled ends on the element. The sleeves were designed to minimize fluid bypass, which reduces the power requirements of an associated recirculation pump, thereby saving energy and reducing carbon footprint. In addition, the sleeve design provides easier element installation and removal with less force required, supports element scroll integrity, and maintains the expected sanitary construction features. The use of two sleeves also achieves these benefits while minimizing plastic waste. The second component is the cage wrap underneath the shell, which has long been a critical feature of sanitary element construction. The remaining three components are the feed channel spacer, the membrane, and the permeate collection material. These latter three parts are assembled to make a barrier between the permeate and the concentrate. Multiple assemblies of feed spacer, membrane, and permeate collection material are wound in a spiral around a perforated central tube that collects the permeate. The degree of separation in the element is determined by the type of membrane used. The separation occurs when part of the feed solution passes through the membrane. For example, the use of reverse osmosis will concentrate practically everything in the feed system as the water and only a small fraction of the smallest molecules pass through the membrane and permeate. Looking at this more closely, the illustration shows how reverse osmosis membrane separates water from the feed solution. The water passes from the feed channel across the membrane and into the permeate, while most minerals, sugars, and proteins remain in the feed channel. In a dairy plant, the concentrate stream from the reverse osmosis system could result in a concentrated lactose stream that can then be sold as a valuable dairy product. This is the opposite concept of how reverse osmosis systems in many other industries are designed, as these other industries focus on purified water as the valuable product. Optum elements made with nanofiltration membrane operate similarly to reverse osmosis membrane, but specialize in rejecting divalent and multivalent ions, while passing monovalent ions, such as might be used in lactose desalting or deacidification and demineralization of whey or ultrafiltration permeate. Zooming back out, the material in construction of the feed channel also creates turbulence that functions in part to keep the membrane surface clean. As the turbulent flow runs along the feed channel, it comes in contact with the membrane and the pressure supplied by a pump forces water through the membrane sheets throughout the element. The water then flows in a spiral to the perforated central tube and is then collected at the other end of the element separately from the remaining minerals, sugars, and proteins in the concentrate. In most systems, multiple elements are positioned in series inside a pressure vessel. As we consider the sanitary construction of spiral-wound membranes, standard cage-wrapped elements have a significant amount of flow moving through the pressure vessel, but around the outside of the element. In previous generations of sanitary construction, this was intentional and critical to cleaning the space. However, that space outside the element can be excessive, and reducing it can minimize the flow while maintaining the required cleanliness. Reducing this flow results in less energy requirement and less carbon footprint. This is a significant benefit of replacing standard cage-wrapped elements with Optum elements. Other spiral-wound membrane suppliers have previously designed similar shells to ensure a consistent distance between the element and the pressure vessel and realize some energy savings. The Optum elements have advanced this concept by using computational fluid dynamics to create a sanitary exterior shape that generates a small amount of local flow reversal near the surface of the shell. This reversal further limits flow, bypassing the working parts of the element, and allows for reduced energy consumption and carbon footprint in the operation. Another benefit of the Optum element is that it improves the ergonomics of the element installation and removal process due to reduced contact with the vessel wall.
Also, using the two-sleeve design feature instead of a full shell is a notable reduction in plastic waste. The Optum Element is the latest innovation in our series of sanitary spiral-wound membranes. Optum Elements, along with other products in our sanitary portfolio, also provide blister-free membrane construction, which eliminates harboring of bacteria in systems, high-performance membrane, and strict product compliance, including use of materials in compliance with U.S., FDA, and EU regulations, as well as kosher and halal requirements. Visit our website to contact your salesperson to learn more.